I have chosen you out of the world that you should go and should bring forth fruit and your fruit should remain. Hello, my friends, and welcome to True Heroes. Right off the bat, I would like to apologize. Things got kind of crazy here in New York this past weekend, and it was just impossible to keep up on the podcast for those couple of days. So we were supposed to do a Relics of Christendom episode, but we are back now instead with True Heroes. Today we're going to look at the lives of Saints Primus and Felician and their martyrdom in the late 3rd century. This will be a very short episode because of how little we really know about them. Let us begin what we do know about them. These martyrs were brothers and lived in Rome for many years, mutually encouraging each other in the practice of all good works. They seemed to possess nothing but for the poor and often spent both nights and days with the confessors in their dungeons or at the places of their torments and execution. Some they encouraged perseverance, others who had fallen and had offered sacrifice they raised up again and they made themselves the servants of all in Christ that all might attain to salvation through him. Though their zeal was most remarkable, they had escaped the dangers of many bloody persecutions and were grown old in the heroic exercises of virtue when it pleased God to crown their labors with a glorious martyrdom. The pagans raised so great an outcry against them that a joint order of Diocletian and Maximian Herculius, they were both apprehended and put in chains. This must have happened around 286, soon after Maximian was associated in the empire, for the two emperors never seemed to have met again in Rome after that year. After refusing to sacrifice to the pagan gods, the two were scourged. As this failed to shake their profession of the faith, they were tortured a second time. Prometheus, the judge, caused them to be cruelly tortured, first both together, afterwards separate from each other, and sought by various arts to cheat them into compliance, as, for example, by telling Felician that Primus had offered a sacrifice. So they lied to him and said that Primus had offered sacrifice in order to try to get Felician to do the same. Primus, in reality, had actually been beheaded because he refused to offer sacrifice. Felician recognized this as a lie, remained steadfast, and suffered martyrdom on the same day, again by beheading on the 9th of June. Their bodies were thrown into the fields, but taken up by the Christians and interred near Nomentum. They were removed to Rome by Pope Theodorus about the year 645 and placed in the Church of St. Stephen on Mount Celio. Thomas Akempis says, One who is slothful and lukewarm complains of everything and calls the lightest precepts hard. But a fervent soul finds everything easy which can unite him more closely to God and embraces his holy will and all things with cheerfulness. We complain so easily in today's world of the slightest difficulties. Let us give up our desires and wants and seek God in all things. And if anything will keep us from God, let us deny it outright as something evil. Tomorrow is the feast of St. Margaret, Queen of Scots, who became the Queen of Scotland after marrying Malcolm III, the King of Scotland. She spent her 30 years as queen, being dedicated to the poor of her country. Until then, God bless you all, my friends. Saints Primus and Felician, pray for us.